This handsome little fella is the three cup Chemex and I'm gonna show you how to make a banging cup of coffee with what is, in my opinion, the cutest member of the Chemex family. You're so cute, yes you are. Three Cup Chemex is the baby brother to the Six and the Eight Cup Chemex. Absolutely iconic brewers. And this little guy just, he's so charming. I love it. Honestly, when I want that Chemex vibe but I don't want to do a big batch brew, sometimes I'll pull this guy out and just do a single serve pour over. It's a fun brewer and very easy to brew with. In many ways, I find it even a little bit easier to brew with than the six cup. So to do this recipe, you're gonna need a three cup Chemex, of course. You're gonna need a coffee scale. You can get away without doing it a coffee scale by eyeballing it, but really you're gonna have better results if you can use one. A basic kitchen scale works too, and if it doesn't have a timer, you can always use your phone. You're gonna need some ground coffee and of course your kettle, hot water, and you're also gonna need Chemex filters. Now, I'll say something about Chemex filters. Number one, if you don't use them, um, other filters will not fit properly in your Chemex, so it's gonna be a very frustrating experience. And for some reason with the three cup filters, they put them in this giant box, um, and I don't, get really, I don't really get why they couldn't do it another way, but it is what it is, and you really should use them if you wanna make the most of your Chemex. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to fold your Chemex filter in half, Fold this little tab down, fold it in half again. Then you're gonna to wanna to open it so you have three layers on one side and one layer on the other. And you're gonna put the three layers on the same side as your water spout. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we are going to wet our filter. This just gets rid of any papery aftertaste. And then when you're ready to dump it out, just dump it out through the spout. Okay, so for this recipe, we are going to use 16 grams of ground coffee, and we're gonna use 250 mils of water. So I've got the coffee pre-ground, I'm gonna dump it in. Now one of the challenges with brewing with this version of the Chemex is the filter is really long and narrow, which makes it hard to get the water all the way to the bottom of the coffee. So what I use is I use a very narrow spoon, and I just try and divot as best I can out the center so that the water has a better chance of getting all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna tear my scale. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bloom, which is basically a pre-infusion phase with 50 grams of water, and I'm gonna let it bloom for 30 seconds. I'm gonna start my timer. I'm gonna try and pour all the way to the bottom there. 50 grams, gonna give it a very aggressive swirl. And I'm gonna wait for the 30 second mark. Once I hit 30 seconds, I'm gonna do a single pour up to a total water weight of 250 grams of water. Now when I'm pouring, I'm gonna go in slow circles, but then what I'm gonna do is towards the end of the pour, I'm gonna do a long center pour. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna stir up the grounds right to the bottom of that deep cone. It's gonna prevent stalling, and it's gonna make sure all the grounds are getting nicely saturated. All right, that's 250 grams. Now we just wait for it to brew. Ideally, the coffee should draw down in the two and a half to three and a half minute mark. And as long as it's drawing down in that amount of range, you should have a pretty good cup of coffee. If it goes a lot shorter than that, you should grind a little bit finer. And if it goes a lot longer than that, definitely grind coarser and that should get you in that range. All right, so we've drawn down right around the three minute mark, which is perfect. We're gonna get rid of our filter and then serve. Mmm, that is a perfectly smooth pour over coffee. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if that recipe was helpful or what else you'd like to see from my channel. And if you are watching this and you have a six cup Chemex and you're thinking that was great, but I would love for a batch brew, you can check out this video right here.